Did you know your brain begins to shrink when you're in your 30s and 40s? And studies have suggested that the hippocampus is especially prone to shrinkage with age. Can you imagine how this could affect you as a writer? Stay tuned and I'll tell you what you can do to fight brain shrinkage. Hello writers in training, I'm Shannon writing under the pen name SC Houston and welcome to my channel where I show writers like you how to develop your writing skills and self-publish your work. Let's talk brain shrinkage. First, it doesn't happen to all areas of the brain at once. Some areas shrink more and faster than others, and it's likely to get more severe as you get older, with the average brain shrinking by approximately 5% per decade after the age of 40. MRI scans of human brains have found that the human hippocampus shrinks by around 13% between the ages of 30 and 80. Brain health is vital to everyone, but to writers, without our healthy brains, we wouldn't be able to dive into our imaginative worlds. So what happens if our hippocampus shrinks? The hippocampus plays a critical role in the formation, organization, and storage of new memories, as well as connecting certain sensations and emotions to these memories. Those who experience such a loss may show significant declines in memory performance. Have you ever noticed how a particular scent might trigger a strong memory? That's the hippocampus at work. The term hippocampus is derived from the Greek word hippocampus, hippo meaning horse, and campos meaning sea monster, because the structure inside your brain resembles the shape of a seahorse. And because the hippocampus has been known of and observed for centuries, it is one of the most studied areas of the brain. If the hippocampus is damaged by disease or injury, it can influence a person's memories as well as their ability to form new memories. In a 2014 study, research on mice suggested that damage to the left hippocampus has an effect on the recall of verbal information while damage to the right hippocampus results in problems with visual information. Can you imagine not being able to recall the word you need for a particular scene or not remembering the colors of the rainbow to describe a scene? So much of your writing could suffer. What can you do? In 2018, researchers examined effects of aerobic exercise, including stationary cycling, walking, and treadmill running. The length of interventions ranged from three to 24 months with a range of two to five sessions per week. And in their study found in the journal NeuroImage, the researchers systematically reviewed 14 clinical trials, which examined the brain scans of 737 people before and after aerobic exercise programs or in control conditions. Overall, the results showed a significant increase in the size of the left region of the hippocampus. The researchers clarify this finding by stating that rather than actually increasing the size of the hippocampus per se, the main brain benefits are due to aerobic exercise slowing down deterioration in brain size. In other words, exercise can be seen as a maintenance program for the brain. Basically, you need to include at least two sessions of aerobic exercise each week to protect your hippocampus and keep it from shrinking. Interestingly, physical exercise seems to be one of the very few proven methods for maintaining brain size and functioning in older age. And what this means is that we need to exercise now to protect our brain size. Healthy brain, healthy writer. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and happy writing.